So today we're going to have a review, a full review of the Nazgul 5 HD. Uh, so I don't know if many of you are aware, but the Nazgul 5 came out last year and it was a fantastic 5 inch bind and fly. They've now progressed that to make the DJI version. So it comes with the DJI camera and obviously then you can use the DJI goggles which are there. And I now bind this to, I now have a DJI transmitter which I didn't have before when I was making videos previously. I didn't have this, this is quite a recentish purchase. And if you've got this, it's a bind and fly. It comes in around 250, 260 pounds. It runs on a 6S LiPo and it's designed to carry a GoPro on the front. So there is a lot of weight, it's around 600 grams total. With a, I think it's 1400 6S on the back. Gives me about five, just over five minutes flight time. So the video I did the other day was showing you the difference between camera quality flying on a drone with a GoPro. And in that video I did say that the DC5 HD was my favourite flying quad. No longer now, I've had a few packs through this thing. This thing flies amazing. Because it's 6S, don't be put off by the fact that it's a powerhouse. It, not, it necessarily isn't. It's a 6S designed to carry a lot of weight. And because of that, you don't feel like you've got a lot of weight there. You don't feel it like manoeuvres, you don't feel it in rolls, you don't feel it in flips. You feel it just like it was a normal 4S pack on. So subsequently it isn't the fastest thing in the world but don't get me wrong if you take everything off this you can fly it with a 900 6S and take the camera off you'd obviously have more power out of the box this comes set up perfectly for me I flew this directly out of the box the only thing I did do was change the OSD just to move some things around because I didn't like where they were so let's have a quick look at the quad so it comes with two sets of props it comes with two straps two rubber mats and you get the cable to connect it to beta flight the control board is uh, the standard one that you get on the iFly and it comes with a micro USB so it's not USB-C this one USB-C and the one thing about this that is different is it does not come with a full air unit so it comes with the Cadex so this is the Cadex Vista on the back let's see if I can get that in and show you so this is the Cadex Vista so this is my first ever anything to do with a Vista and I must admit, I'm not no. For me, I prefer the air unit. I think the camera quality looks better at through the goggles. This is in 4x3, by the way, as well, which may put some people off. It, for me, it was fine, but I do prefer 16x9. And the Vista, if you didn't know, does not have any SD capable recording, so you can't record your footage. Now, there is onboard storage on this. I can't remember if it's 2 or 4 gig, because I, if you power this up and connect it up to your PC, you will see it as a drive. Now the reason that's important is if you want to do the FCC mod, so you take this out at 25 milliwatt and do the power mod, you can do that by simply copying your text file onto this, start it up and it'll work just the same so you can increase your milliwatts. So there's no worry about that. Everything else is exactly the same, it binds directly the same way, push your button in, push your button on your goggles and it binds and in the same way push your button in and then do your stupid thing where you press loads of buttons down on here to bind and that's what it does so for me this is the one of the per is to me is probably the best bind and fly they'll ever make whether things will get better I don't know but I don't see how you can much improve on this to be a fair 5 inch the motor choice the ESC's everything about it is absolutely brilliant. The only thing I would do on this, and I'm still thinking about possibly doing that, is swapping out the Cadex unit for an A unit because to me it's just not needed on this. And to be fair, I could use that on a smaller build, maybe a three inch, and put the Cadex Vista on. So I might put an A unit in the back of this. The fit and finish is fantastic, right down to these strips on here that protect your cable, the smoke by grey plastic. The TPU on the back is excellent and on the front it's all excellent the TPU fitment all very very nice the advantage of the course of the Cadex Vista is it's a 20 by 20 stack so it's easier to bolt down to your quad you can just bolt it straight into your frame you don't have to mess around by using fitment filament fitted parts and also on here it has got a nice little trick so if you can see the bottom <laughs> lights up with the iFlight logo not really sure why but it's a nice little added thing on there obviously the Cadex only comes with the one 
antenna. Now this mine's come with an iFly antenna, but I have seen this with different antennas. I've seen this with a couple of different antennas on different reviews I've watched, but this is what mine came like out of the box. I got this from the UK, so um, maybe that's the reason why. It comes with the Nazgul 5.1 Pops, which are very nice. These are just the yellow version. The smoked grey ones are the ones that came on the original Nazgul. So since I did my videos, when I was making videos previously, I've now, I haven't swapped totally over to DJI, but I, I do fly predominantly DJI now because I prefer that goggle experience. Whether people expect it to take off as well as it did, I don't know, but it certainly has taken off really, really well. I still fly um, analogue, but I do not have two different goggles anymore. I just fly with this, and I will have a review coming up on this piece here that you can buy which allows me to put anything you want a rapid fire and anything else onto the front of there like I say I'll have a review from this from a British company excellent it is I think it's 40 odd quid fits straight away but like I say I'll have the review coming up I think it's called, it's called a digidapter if you want to check it out but it really is nice but like I say I'll have a full review on that coming up and as you can see I have the X-Air antenna on people say they don't they're not sure if they work any better. For me, it, it definitely is. For where I fly and where I tend to fly, this makes a massive difference. If I go behind me and I've got these on, I seem to have far more coverage with that than without and with the stock on. So I must apologise in the last video I did because I did state in that video that I'd uploaded in 4K 60 frames per second. I filmed in 4K 60 frames per second and as someone quite rightly pointed out in the comments, I'd only uploaded in 30. The footage you're about to see from the Nazgul at the end of this video is 4K 60 frames per second. I'll get the, I've got the video right, so you'll see what it looks like. It's coming out of the GoPro on the front, and I probably I don't know if I will put any goggle. I may put some goggle footage up, but I might not bother. You might just be better just watching it straight from there. So it's a GoPro. Oh, I must say one other thing: you do not get any TPU mounts for this, which I think is a very, very tight thing to do. To be fair, this is this isn't the original, the right one. But if you buy the one that comes for this, it's twenty-four quid or something like that, which is a lot of money for a TPU mount. So this is a cheap TPU mount to hold my GoPro on. So the video will be shown is the GoPro eight on the front of here. So thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget like, share, and subscribe.